Supersonic passenger airplanes have a long history of ups and downs. Ever since the American pilot Chuck Eager broke the speed of sound on October 14, 1947, it has been the dream of ordinary men to fly supersonic. The dream came true in the year 1976 with Concorde. However, after merely 27 years of operation, Concorde ended abruptly in the year 2003. But all is not lost. Just a few months ago, Boom Technology, a startup based in Colorado, launched its plan to bring back the luxurious supersonic transportation. So I'm Lei, let's take a look at what supersonic airplanes can do, and more importantly, what this launch means for us. First of all, supersonic transportation is a transportation method that is represented by its fast speed as well as its high class status. In the years of Concorde, the speed of its plane is on average Mark II, which means that the planes fly at twice the speed of sound. This would cause two beautiful phenomena, the supersonic boom sound and the cone shape air distortion following the plane when it breaks the speed of sound which is around 340 meters per second. The physics behind it is pretty simple. There are a lot of videos on YouTube explaining the physics behind the phenomenon. So in short, here are three pictures of sound waves when a plane travels at subsonic, sonic and supersonic speed. As you can see, when a plane is traveling at subsonic speed or sonic speed, the waves reach people on the ground one at a time. However, when supersonic speed is achieved, there is a sharp disturbance or boom at the edge of the cone shape represented by the blue line, because of the concentration of the waves. This is why we hear the boom on the ground. However, if you are worried about the noise when you are on board, you don't have to. You would not be able to hear it, because you are traveling faster than sound, you see. The boom can't reach you. Failure of Concorde is explained in many videos on YouTube, so I will not talk about it too much. In summary, the Concorde is the result of the space race between America and the Soviet Union, and eventually, the 9-11 was the last straw that killed Concorde, which was already shouldering a lot of financial burden due to years of incompetency. To give you guys a little bit more perspective, a lot of airlines filed for bankruptcy during the years after 9-11, including the United Airlines, US Airways, and so on. This also brings me to the focus of today. The fall of Concorde was a result of chaotic times. So now that the chaos is over, naturally some of us would start to think about bringing the luxury back. This person is Blake Shaw, the founder of Boom Technology. Over the last year, Boom Technology has secured $41 million funding to build the prototype and test fly with it. One thing to take note is that the supersonic transportation would not be available for over-the-land usage because the huge noise it produces as well as the possible destruction of the civilian window due to the sound wave. So, the routes they're looking at are over-the-sea long-haul flights, like from New York to London or from San Francisco to Tokyo. And all the seats available would be for business and first-class passengers. So if you don't have $5,000 or more to spare, forget about it. The debut of the aircraft is scheduled for 2023, so we would have to wait a while more. Lastly, if you ask me, is the supersonic transport going to succeed this time considering it has already failed once? I would say, why not? With a commitment coming from various airlines including Virgin Airline, the boom technology does have a good start. And for tech enthusiasts like me, I really can't think of any reason to be against it. After all, I do want to have the opportunity to travel supersonic one day. So, fingers crossed. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Again, it's Lei. I'll see you all in the next video.